A voice calling. A message received. It's a basic human need. Communication. Whether it's a voice, or music, or data, or video images. Information. Pulses relayed by microwave, bounced by satellite, flashed through a glass fiber, processed in a silicon chip, rooted and rerouted, carried to the right destination instantly through technology the user never sees. Helping people meet this need to communicate has been AT&T's mission. The result is the most accessible and reliable telecommunications network in the world. Today, AT&T's mission has expanded to be the world leader in the movement and management of information. Our vision is to create a world in which you can access and use all kinds of information as easily as you can use today's telephone. Hi, Brian. How you doing? The responsibility of the AT&T R&D community, centered at Bell Laboratories, is to provide the science and technology to turn AT&T's vision into reality. Here, the imagination, talents, and ingenuity of more than 19,000 people are brought together. Over 2,500 PhDs in 20 R&D facilities, all contributing to our tradition of leadership in a broad spectrum of scientific and engineering disciplines. About 10% of the total effort is in research. 90% is in specific design and development work for products manufactured by AT&T and for the AT&T network. Systems engineering work helps to tie it all together. New technology from Bell Labs and the right systems architecture helps AT&T anticipate and meet the needs of its customers in the movement and management of information. Three technologies are combining to deliver the promise of the information age. Microelectronics, Lightwave, and Software. And Bell Laboratories is at the forefront in all three, with a unique ability to understand and exploit both the global and microscopic implications for our customers. In microelectronics research, scientists are investigating ways to create new semiconductor materials. At Murray Hill, New Jersey, we're examining how individual layers of atoms interact. Studies with a tunneling electron microscope allow us to manipulate the fundamental structures of nature. Molecular beam epitaxy creates ultra-fast lasers and transistors. This work could even lead to three-dimensional silicon chips hundreds of times more powerful than today's. In other labs, we created the first manufacturable megabit memory chip and the world's first 32-bit microprocessor chip. Using computer-aided design technology, AT&T delivered it from design lab to marketplace in one-third the usual time. 
many times more powerful than the technology it replaces, this microprocessor and its set of peripheral chips is becoming the heart of tomorrow's information systems. Lightwave, the second frontier of the information age. AT&T leads the world in both fundamental light wave advances and in developing complete light wave systems. And we've manufactured more than half of all the fiber optic cable in use today. AT&T is installing the first transatlantic light wave cable capable of carrying 40,000 phone calls. In the lab, we've transmitted the equivalent of 30 volumes of the encyclopedia in a half second. And yet, we've only begun to tap the incredible potential of this new technology. For example, at Homedale, New Jersey, Dr. Alan Huang is working on models of computers that use photons instead of electrons. This project has a high risk of failure but it also has the potential for a very high payoff. What we're trying to do here is, is design a new type of supercomputer, a computer which processes patterns of optical pulses rather than streams of electrical pulses. Theoretically, it has the potential of going over a thousand times faster than present day computers. Why is it happening here at Bell Labs? Well, one of the reasons is that I have the opportunity to work with leading experts in related fields, such as ultra-fast lasers, molecular beam epitaxy, uh, light wave, and some of the top computer scientists in this world. Very few companies have the self-confidence to start a whole new field of research, such as digital optical computers. With all the computing power and speed our minds can imagine, the information must still be processed and managed by software, the most challenging of the new technologies. That's why half of our technical people are involved in software development. We're using software to make information systems and services more versatile and user-friendly. From controlling advanced manufacturing processes and creating new network services, to developing techniques to increase programmer productivity and improve software quality, AT&T is leading the way. The Unix system is one example, a computer operating system rapidly becoming a worldwide industry standard, making powerful global and local networks a reality. Unix software also drives the world's most advanced, most versatile family of network switches, the electronic switching systems developed at our Indian Hill Laboratory in Illinois. Another breakthrough in computer science from Bell Labs is the Karmakar algorithm. This new technique for solving complex problems has the potential for many commercial applications. For example, finding the best way to route traffic and expand this network over the next 10 years. The problem has 42,000 variables and 15,000 constraints and used to take four hours to solve on a modern computer. The new algorithm cuts the time to four minutes. Microelectronics, Lightwave, Software, Key Technologies, along with Systems Engineering to tie them together, are the strategic focus for innovation at Bell Laboratories. Innovation, from individual minds and creative interaction, is the product of Bell Labs and all of AT&T's R&D community. 
It's the result of a commonly held expectation that only the highest standards apply. We recruit from the top few percent of the world's brightest minds. For example, in biophysics research, a group of physicists, electrical engineers, and biologists work together to study nerve cells and how they process information. They're exploring how groups of nerve cells interconnect to solve problems. Another group builds large analogs of neural networks by creating highly interconnected silicon networks that process information continuously and collectively. Ideas flow freely in AT&T's open, interdisciplinary R&D environment. At Whippany, New Jersey, Jesse Russell directs a lab working on new mobile communication systems. The innovation at Bell Laboratories is helped by two uh, key factors. Our people having a rich mix of cultural and racial backgrounds, but also having in common a clearly well-defined mission for AT&T. Bell Labs is strong in the basic technologies, but one of the keys to the success of Bell Laboratories has been its expertise in systems engineering and its ability to move new technological advancements to the marketplace quickly. Over the years, the spirit of innovation at Bell Labs has had a profound impact on our lives. The invention of the transistor, the solar cell, and the laser used in light wave systems the development of information theory, systems engineering, communication satellites, and new software languages. Seven of our scientists have won Nobel Prizes and four the National Medal of Science. Bell Labs was the first company to receive the National Medal of Technology. We've been granted over 21,000 patents, an average of one for each day since Bell Labs opened its doors in 1925. At the heart of this innovation is a unique skill that enhances all of Bell Labs' technical strengths. The ability to conceive, design, and engineer complex networks. This is our heritage, our legacy from those who first envisioned a universal telephone network and made it a reality. Our past prepares us for today's greatest challenge, a vision we call Universal Information Services. Imagine a world with instant, effortless, inexpensive access to voice, data, or image services from any place in the network, incorporating today's technology and tomorrow's as well, no matter whose equipment is connected. This is the framework of our vision. Now go beyond. Imagine talking directly to a computer in your own language. I'm sending you the bar chart now. Asking questions and receiving answers from computers anywhere in the world. This is the vision. A global network of information woven from the technologies of microelectronics, light wave, and software, combined in network structures that can be instantly reconfigured, allowing people everywhere to transform accessible information into useful knowledge. Innovation that serves human needs. A vision that will transform our global community. AT&T Bell Laboratories. People in touch with the future.